I'm now going to move on to some more positive aspects of autism. Special interests. This is an intense interest or obsession with a specific topic. This is one of the defining characteristics of autism. Children with Asperger's syndrome are often referred to as little professors on their favourite subject. They develop these interests to help them control their environment. In a world designed for neurotypical people, where they can't have this level of control that they so desperately want. Autistic people are also fascinated by all of the small details, which most people don't usually consider. <coughs> it's also this pursuit for control, which is what drives them to learn everything they can about a specific topic. These topics can be quite unusual. For example, things like washing machines, car tax discs, drain covers, light bulbs, or batteries. I didn't have an interest specifically for washing machines before writing this talk, but thinking about it, I got quite excited, thinking about how big the drum is, how, much, how many clothes it can take, how fast it's supposed to spin, how much water is supposed to be pumped into the mechanism, what kind of pump you're using and what power that uses. You've also got all the different cycles, the fast cycle, the colour cycle, the delicates and the white cycle. You've also got about 100 different kinds of washing powder which you can put in there, and you've also got how much power it draws from the mains, and, well, I'm sure if I wanted to, I could give you an entire lecture about washing machines. Yay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll have to leave this lecture for another time. Okay. My point being, when autistic people talk about something that is their special interest, it's as if they get a really big rush and they get really excited to talk about it all. The only disadvantage of this is that other people wouldn't share the same interest in washing machines as one me. Except for this kid at the front, of course. <laughs> But most people would just assume that I'm rambling on about washing machines and they would very quickly get bored. When I was a child, my interests included dinosaurs, sharks, and the universe. And, somewhat inevitably, Pokemon. <laughs> However, my dad wasn't at all interested in Pokemon, so he bought me a walk car magazine. <laughs> Not surprisingly, I memorised every detail of every car in the magazine. And then I had something which I could talk about with my dad without him getting bored. 